Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So I just finished watching Adventure Time Distant Lands' first episode titled BMO, and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts about it in this video. If you haven't seen it yet, spoilers are ahead. So the whole episode revolved around BMO visiting this space platform somewhere in the unknown reaches of the galaxy. Bimo was on a mission to Mars when some orb that he calls Olive stops him and has him go to this unknown planet that's facing disaster. And pretty much the whole story revolves around new characters for the most part. The only old character we see in the show is Bimo, and then at the end of the episode, Bimo goes to Earth and he sees Finn and Jake for the first time. It was a young Finn, I don't know how old he was, but he was young and playing with Jake who had a mohawk. So, I guess this was meant to serve as a prequel to the original series. I guess the events, obviously, now we know, take place before Finn and Jake ever met Bimo. So, I would assume that the rest of Distant Lands, the whole purpose of this spin off series, is to just add a layer of depth to these other characters. And now we know how Bimo met Finn and Jake. But the thing is, overall, does this add more to the series? Not really, not necessarily, at least this episode. Because, like I said, the only layer of added depth that we got is, oh, this this is how Bimo met Finn and Jake, but that's like five seconds at the end. The rest of the episode is all revolving new characters who the, I guess you could call the villain, his name is Hugo, and we learn that he actually escaped Earth when the whole apocalypse happened and half of Earth got destroyed and Ooh was created and all, all that good stuff we know from the original series. But other than that, there's one character that I was actually kind of curious about. His name was Mr. M. And I was wondering, who is this guy? He seems really interesting, and he kind of just gets shoved to the side at the end. They just, like, they're, he seems like this mysterious figure, and you can tell that he's going to be a villain of sorts in the beginning of the episode, but then he kind of just runs away at the end of the episode, and th that was it. Overall, I think that Adventure Time Distant Lands BMO was an enjoyable episode. I do think that the climax of the episode kind of resolved itself way too quickly because by the time that the whole alien space community whatever you know i don't know what that planet was called exactly but everybody who's living on that platform by the time they figure out that hugan is the villain there's only five minutes left in the episode i remember at that point i paused it and i was like how long do we have left because they're just finding out that this guy's bad and then i'm like oh there's only five minutes left, and of course, the credits are about half, uh, 30 seconds, so about half a minute, so really it's like four and a half minutes left for them to resolve the whole plot, the whole overarching issue, and I thought that was kind of poorly paced at the end, but overall, I did enjoy BMO, Adventure Time Distant Lands. Uh, I little prediction going forward, so it seems like I looked up what are the other episodes of Distant Lands, and one of them is about Peppermint Butler and how he gets his powers, I guess, because he goes. It's about him going to wizard school, so we're gonna learn why he's so good with dark magic and all that stuff, which is something that the original series didn't really touch on, and that was something that I always thought was kind of missing from the original series. So that's cool. That would be a prequel, I guess, to the original series as well. There's one on Marceline and Bubblegum's relationship, uh, so I assume that's gonna be a sequel then to the original series. And then there's another episode on Finn and Jake reuniting. So I, I don't know if that's going to be something that's a prequel before the show happened, how they met, or is it going to be something that takes place after the series? I have to think it's probably the latter since they're saying they're going to reunite, but it could just be that they're saying reunite as in, oh, you're going to see Finn and Jake again for the first time in three years. You're going to see a new adventure with them. So I don't know. We just have to wait and see. But overall, Adventure Time Distant Lands just seems like a series that's meant to add a little extra depth to these characters, a little extra depth to the overall plot of Adventure Time. You know, I, I made a video before saying, do we really need Adventure Time Distant Lands? And I got to say, I still think the answer is no. I still think that we'd be perfectly fine without it. It doesn't add 
too much to the overall plot of the story, at least this first episode, but I do think that the Peppermint Butler one and maybe the Finn and Jake episode could add a good amount of needed depth to the overall story of Adventure Time. So we'll just have to wait and see. There's no word on when the other episodes are coming out. We know one of them's coming in 2020, but as to the other two, we have no idea. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.